we're back. Well, I should say I'm back, not we. But um, what this tutorial is going to be about is making your basic contact table. I'm not going to get too deep into it. If you want more information on it, just send me a message and I can help you out a little bit more. I don't mind helping people or showing people the stuff that I know. So what you want to do first is go to new and make sure your width is 300, your height 150, and that your background or your it says contents but it's for your background is tra transparent so it should make a box like this uh, and I have my previous uh, you know the background I worked on previously so I can make a contact table that matches with that so it's pretty basic it's black I'm gonna make the contact table white just so it can stand out a little bit and just for the sake of teaching you guys um, I'm gonna make it white. I'm gonna do little blending, you know, blending options. We could do not a drop shadow, but what I want to do is bevel and emboss it. You can kind of see it here. Once you do it, you'll be able to see it yourself more. Here, actually, is what I want to change. You can make it more like a button, basically. You can change the angle of it so it kind of looks different there. Um, but that's pretty much it. I just do that just so it could stand out. And then I go to my letters. You want to make your letters whatever color. I'm going to make it black just for the sake of... You go up here. You want to make your letter or your font size 24 pixels you know, depending on what font you use, some fonts do it bigger, some fonts do it smaller, whatever. Go add here or message me there, you know, message me. Gonna have to make that a little bit bigger so it could show. And you get your little pointer tool and you move it around. And then you can add whatever, if you want to add something to the letters, you can add something to the letters. But you, what you want to do is with this one and with all your pictures that you're going to use in your code or to put on your MySpace, you want to save for the web. This should pop up, then you go save, and you want to make a black contact and put it in whatever folder that you're going to put it in, and bingo bango, you should be done with that. And then once you have all your elements to your page, however you want it, you put the code in your about me section, and then you grab the URL and then you put it in and you tweak it to the way you want it if you need the code again I have it um, just message me and I can message you the code um, my next tutorial is going to be on creating gif images on image ready so I hope you guys tune in thanks for watching if you have any questions you can myspace me at website myspace.com slash website gems or you can just send me a message through YouTube and I can write you back within 24 hours. Thanks. Bye-bye.